Assalamualaikum everyone uh, So my name is Nur Aiza bin Tibar Hisham My metric number is 192645 I am from group 4 So today my I am and my group member uh, Afa Fatma, Atika Izati, Darchayani and my Sarah To explain about metal organic framework So what is a metal organic framework? Metal organic framework is also known as a porous coordination polymer. It's constructed by joining organic linker and metal cluster. And it is form can either forming one, two or three dimensional structure. This are uh, some example of the uh, MOF. Characteristic of MOF it is into it can be crystalline high surface area, highly porous and chemically stable. The importance of the pore size in the MOF structure. Many application in the MOF depend on the size and the nature of the pores within the framework. Uh, substrates, gases and other molecules can move in, uh, move in and out of the pore with great facility. It apply with the uh, application of the MOF such as it can act as a catalysis and gas storage which affect the movement of the molecule in the pore. Besides, the variation of the metal ions and organic ligands give different type of pore. This means the pore can when the metal ion organic ligands vary, it can give uh, either a large pore or a small pore uh, besides the by lengthening the organic change it leads to the increase of the pore size but decrease the stability of the framework so it means when the organic change is long the pore size will increase but the stability will decrease when no gas is present Thermal conductivity decrease when increasing the pore size. So this is the basic structure of the MOF. MOF is made up of the metal ion plus with organic unit or known as a linker or bridging ligand. Thus, it will produce MOF materials. This is some example of the organic linker and metal notes this is the mof materials mm. when link when the linker or organic ligand plus with metal ion it will give different structure if we use different solvent but in the overall structure it will have same organic secondary building unit and same inorganic secondary building unit for example in the in the linker, we have a linker and cuprum nitrate, but we use a different solvent. For solvent A, we use dimethyl acetonamide. For linker B, we use water, ethanol, and dimethyl formamide. So, in the structure A, it will produce UHM8, while in structure B, will, it will produce UHM9. Uh, this is the example when we use the same metal ion but different linker. This is the linker. This is the, the metal ions. And this is the structure of the MOF. So it means when we, when we have a metal ions or the linker and the solvent, if we use any different of either of the one, we can we pro, we will produce a different type of the MOF structure. This is a, another example of the MOF structure with variation of the metal ions and the linker. So that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. My name is Atika Izati. Today I would like to present regarding metal organic framework chemistry. As we know, the porosity of the metal organic frameworks will enable either large or small molecules to enter the void space. The fact is, the more porous the structure is, the higher the surface area and hence more sites for gas adsorption. To increase the surface area of 
metal organic frameworks, we can increase the organic link length to expand the structure of MOF. The figure shown that when we increase the organic link length, we can also increase the surface area. However, using a longer organic link will lead to interpenetrating structure. Interpenetrating structure will reduce the pore size and thus reducing the availability space within the MOF structure. Now, I will proceed to the nomenclature of metal organic frameworks. This table shows the example of typical metal organic framework names and their composition. As we can see from the table, from number 8 until number 19, the classes of the metal organic frameworks are according to the place of their discovery. While for metal organic frameworks that has zeolite topology, such MOF are designated by abbreviation of zeolite imidazolate framework or can be known as ZIF lines. Proceed to the structural features of metal organic frameworks. There are two components that can be distinguished in metal organic framework. Firstly, is the secondary building units or can be say the cluster or metal ion. Second, it is the organic molecules which will link the former to give a periodic porous structure. Now, for this figure, it shows that the structure of different metal organic framework with terephthalate dye and ion as a linker. Even though we use the same organic linker, but if we substitute of different secondary building units into the central metal atom, it can lead to different type of MOF. Hence, it can be said that the metal secondary building units can dictate the final topology of MOF. Along with the carbon chain of the linker, it is possible to synthesize materials that have similar structure and symmetry but different in the pore size. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum and hi, my name is Nurul Afa Fatma Mitanazmi and today I will present to you about the properties of metal organic frameworks. First is mechanical properties. In this mechanical properties, we perform calculation on individual elastic constant of cubic. And also, we employ the fitting of quadratic energy versus strain curve. In this energy versus strain curve, we apply small strains to relax structure. And MOF are more softer than inorganic nanoporous materials such as zeolite. Uh, in mechanical properties, we have negative linear compressibility and LC, which material expanding in one or two directions under hydrostatic compression. This is the example of mechanical properties uh, and also the compression that have been done on the structure. Below is the energy versus strain curve. Uh, we can see the equilibrium condition and also the condition of structure that have been strained. Next is on the thermal properties. In these thermal properties, we have negative thermal expansion, which is MTE, that occur in relatively large temperature range, often including room condition. Uh, this material exhibiting MTE will contract when heated. We also perform constant pressure, constant temperature molecular dynamic simulation to study thermal expansion of uh, metal organic framework. Heat capacity is another properties uh, which to characterize material itself and also optimize adsorption process. We prefer to have larger heat capacity that absorb the heat generated during adsorption which limit the undesirable thermal effect. This is the picture showing the crystal structure of inverse perovskite antiferromagnets of manganese, zinc and also nitrogen. Uh, in this picture, we also can see the concept of negative thermal expansion that have been done. Uh, this is the graph of volume versus temperature. It shows as temperature decrease, volume also increase. From the first picture to the second picture, we can see the volume. Uh, this is bigger than this. So uh, that's all from me. Thank you. And I will pass uh, the presentation to the next presenter.
Next, I will proceed with the synthesis of MOF. But before that, my name is Maisara Binti Asma'on. My metric number is 192790. So, there are two methods to synthesis MOF. First method is soft templating method. While for the second method is hard templating method. In soft templating method, it involves a more subtle physical or chemical interaction between framework source. Basically, template is direct to the self-assembly synthesis, thus allow a better control of the material properties. The advantage of soft templating method is it provides a more successful pathway for synthesis. One of the example is solvothermal synthesis method. Next, for hard templating method, it involves the framework precursor filling the cavities present in the structure solid template. In this method, template can be removed from the porous structure after synthesis. Unfortunately, it is less successful pathway compared to soft templating method. One of the example is microwave assisted heating and ultrasound. So now we can see one of the example of solvothermal synthesis of MOF. Here we have hexafluoroisopropylidine bisbenzoic acid added with the terminal monodentate ligand 3 methylpyridine with the presence of DMF and DEF. The purpose of using DEF or DMF as solvent is to increase the absorbability between solvent and metal salt and also in thermal decomposition temperature. After the reactions, the products can be isolated and wash in parallel in a vacuum filter device. Next, the product form gave rise to 2D fluorinated metal organic frameworks or more known as FMOF. The structures of this FMOF can be determined by X-ray crystallography and further identified by IR spectroscopy, powder X-ray diffractions and thermogravimetric analysis. Here we have the schematic diagram of solvothermal synthesis of MOF. We have organic ligand, metal salt, solvent, teflon lining, reactor, and also the membrane modified with MOF. After the product has been washed and dry, we will have a 2D fluorinated FMOF. Next, there are other synthetic methods. Well, the first one is slow diffusion method, second one is electrochemical method, and the third one is mechanochemical method. Next, we will proceed with my friend presentation. Thank you, Ms. Sarah. My name is Dashaini Kasinadan. My metric number is 194330. I will proceed the presentation with the biomedical application of metal organic framework. Metal organic framework are used as cargo delivery system for cancer dropping. This drug delivery system prompted due to undesired side effects and poor selectivity of chemotherapy during traditional tumor treatment process. There are two delivery routes, inorganic and organic carrier. Inorganic carrier improves drug bioavailability and therapeutic effects. Inorganic hosts usually have porous solids, for example, like zeolites and mesoporous silicate materials, in which they have low drug loading capacity and controlled release of drug. But for organic carrier, they allow a wide range of drug to be encapsulated, so they have high drug loading capacity, but premature drug leakage due to the absence of well-defined porosity. Metal organic framework will have the combination of inorganic and organic carrier to achieve high drug loading capacity and controlled release of drug. It is also chosen to overcome the challenges of cargo delivery because they can accommodate a wide range of cargo molecules with different physical chemical properties 
have high holding capacity of small molecules and biomicromolecules such as enzymes and nucleic acid for synthetic covalent modification and controllable drug release behavior. Zinc based and mill family based metal organic frameworks are widely utilized. This is the loading of the drug into metal organic framework and the slow release of drug from metal organic framework into the tumor environment. Chromium based metal organic framework was discovered in the year 2006. MIL 100 and MIL 101 was used for the delivery of the model drug ibuprofen. Ibuprofen is an analgesic drug also known as painkiller to relieve pain. MIL stands for material of institute Lavoisier. The comparison between MIL 100 and MIL 101, the pore diameter of the MIL 100 is in the range of 25 to 29 Armstrong, while for, while for the MIL 101, the pore diameter is in the range of 29 to 34 Armstrong, which means that MIL 101 has higher loading capacity compared to the MIL 100. But it takes 6 days to complete the drug release. And this is due to the flexibility of the metal organic framework in which they are able to tune their pore size according to the dimension of the drug. As a result, a strong interaction exists between the drug and the metal organic framework which limit the mobility of the drug molecules within the pores of the metal organic framework. However, for mil 100, they only take 3 days to complete the drug release. Pi pi interactions existed between the aromatic ring of the mil 100, mil 101 with the ibuprofen drug. Since this metal organic framework contained toxic chromium, the scientists came up with iron based mil 101 as a biocompatible alternative. These are the structures of mil 100 and mil 101 where they have a super tetrahydrogeometry. For mil 100, they have a pentagonal window opening with a pore diameter of 25 Armstrong and hexagonal window opening with a pore diameter of 29 Armstrong. For mil 101, they have a pentagonal window opening with a pore diameter of 29 Armstrong and hexagonal window opening with a pore diameter of 34 Armstrong. After a decade, the scientists discovered the normal, stimuli responsive and multifunctional metal organic framework as a carrier in which anti-cancer drugs are most widely utilized. So for normal metal organic framework as carrier, they encapsulate the drug molecules in the nano cages of metal organic framework and release them in the tumor microenvironment. Example is the University of Oslo Nano Metal Organic Framework Platform is used for the co-delivery of cisplatin at small interfering ribonucleic acid to treat the cisplatin resistant ovarian cancer. Next we have the stimuli responsive metal organic framework as carrier. They have a good responsiveness to various stimuli, for example like pH, redox, light, magnetic field, temperature, ions and ultrasound is to achieve the on-demand drug delivery requirements and to reduce the undesirable side effect during cancer treatment. So an example of dual stimuli responsive drug delivery system is the host gas interactions between positively charged pyridinium stocks on the surface of metal organic framework and carboxylate pillar, a ring CP5 rings which exhibit pH responsive and competitive binding responsive, meaning they have already responded to two types of steam. The last one is the multifunctional metal organic framework as a carrier. It is to overcome the multidrug resistance during chemotherapy and the limitations of the monotropy. Example of multifunctional metal organic framework is the multifunctional supramolecular nanohybrid constructed from core shell of metal organic frameworks and pillar nanogates for targeted phototermal treatment of cervical cancer. That's all from us. Thank you. This is the structure of benzene. The benzene rings lies close to each other. Distance between this ring and the top one is about 4 m strong. But for metal organic framework or MOF or MOF, the structure is less dense. Distance from the aromatic ring of the bottom one from the top one is 12 Armstrong. Thus, you can see that the compound like this are porous.
For an analogy, it is like a sponge. Sponge have a tiny hole, and the existence of the hole make the sponge work well. It is the same as MOF. The hole make MOF special. Many applications of MOF depend on the nature of the holes or pores within the MOF structure. Researchers have developed a new approach for making pain medication last longer. The new method utilizes compounds that combine metal ions with organic proteins to deliver pain meds. Since those compounds are also porous, they can be packaged with active pain medication ingredients. The researchers administered the drug-laden compounds to mice and found that they reached the bloodstream more quickly. They also found that the pain medication delivered by the metal organic frameworks also lasted twice as long. Therefore, metal organic frameworks are used for drug delivery. There are some either stability issues within the drug molecules like release rates or they degrade within the body. You can encapsulate them into a metal organic framework and then use that to slowly release the drug.